Hey guys, welcome to talk here, and welcome back to part 63 of Simpsons Tap Out. I literally just, I'm literally at, this is the same day when I did the part 62. It might be a day later, or so, I don't know. But basically, I kind of wanted to show off from a cameo of another character from the last part, and then, you know, do the rest of it afterwards. But I kind of thought, I was like, you know, I might as well just do it now. So it'll be easier for me to, or, or since I got school tomorrow, but also, yeah, I got a new front of a bunch of stuff to do. Now, I got, well, number one is that there's a new series I'm planning to make. That I have part one done, I'm making part two, oh, at some point, maybe near when Act, the Simpsons tap out event, sci-fi event, fully ends. But, it was basically a lot of, it was just something, you know. But this video I I made on this new series, it was fun to do because it was just my attempt to do the voice to do videos with the voice acting, which I think the voice actors I have for these characters, which you will see soon, I think really they did a good job of voice doing the voices of these essential characters. You guys will see very soon when I upload the part sixty two of Simpsons Tap Out, because I wanna do that. Show the bender appearance. And as well, just, you know, do the rest of the story mode afterwards. And, we're back. Did you locate the future source of the robot army? No, we totally forgot about that. But we sure plundered everything that was, uh, wasn't was even nailed down. They nail things down in the future because stuff tends to hover. Wait, where's Professor Frank? He didn't come back. He must have become stuck somewhere in this distant future. Act 3, most likely. Yeah, I doubt they would really have him disappear. Like, he's still there, but, you know, for jobs and that. I hate to nag, but I'm still being stabbed by robots in the future. Ow! Does anyone have a toilet? Hmm. Maybe we can turn this time tunnel into an advantage. I use the parts from the smashed evil robots to build good robots. And I'll send them into the future to stop the evil robots before they travel to the past. Hooray! We, we will be saved! I will just bolt some robot scraps together like so, then program these three laws of robot rocks. Heavens the heck a moany! That will work! If you want goodness, program me. The programs you got me is Chichido Ten. The Ten Commandments. That's it. Now, Always need to have to put his stuff in his little f things. It's better than a science. Alrighty, then. I see there's a ton of more robots around. Bear, I got all the three laws of robotics programmed in. Hold your horses! I'm still sunshining above the Ten Commandments. Plus, I drew in a couple of extras about not converting a thy neighbor's premium items. What's wrong with your people? You're parrying while uh, while I'm trying to save your lives and your universe. And that uh, that shall not tend neighbors Barney's bowler. And done. Okay, okay. Now you can save us. The electrical of the human race never ceases to enrage me. Enrage me. Now get up to some commonals and pop the robots in the future. Now I think they just have to basically destroy some robots in order to. I don't know where. I don't know how many robots. Okay, just five. Five robots. This pretty much it's a game where those things just say smash five robots just to get these items. To get the currency. That's basically what they're saying. The good robots are fully functional and ready to enter the time hole. Hold on there, citizen. The evil robots men and man there are heavily armed with top gun pikes and daggers, and one packing a tail. Ow, ow, ow! Yeah, that guy. If you want our good power of robots to stand a fighting chance, we gotta arm them with an exactly identical weaponry. I think that'd be good for. And as well. I might as well get President Lisa. I'll just do a little sci-fi while I'll do that afterwards. But let's just get President Lisa, who's, like I said, not a skin, but just her own separate character, which I do like about that. Hey, you. And we have President Lisa. 
2016, back when Prestonary was not Android. What's going on? I can breathe in the air, but I can taste it. And the caramel doesn't have to glow up we want. And these sea levels, although several miles away, sleeps a lot lower. We came back in time, sis. This is the spring field of our childhood. But in the future, I was president of the United States. I was helping lead America out of economy and social turmoil. Stuff happens here, too. You want to help me blackmail Krusty? No! We can't do anything or we might change history. And then I might never be elected for president. Just sit perfectly still and don't interact with any muggles. The country is broke. Yes, I am proud to be America's first. <laughs> Okay, so I think, well, hey, make this, Lisa is probably a better female president than Hillary Clinton. That's one thing for sure. So I think I'll just end this part for now. And I'll see you guys next time for part 64 of Simpsons Tap Out. I might do a Nintendo 64 pun, you never know. Come on.